Hey everyone! So today I'm gonna do winter favorites slash stocking stuffers slash things that make me feel in the season for you guys as requested by one of my subscribers. Um, and these can be like things that you look at a couple different ways. It can be like either things that are small enough to put in stockings or stuff to check out for yourself or to gift to other people. Uh, there's quite a few things to go over so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so my all-time favorite perfumed lotion ever is Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Honey Drops Body Cream and um, I totally use this year round. It smells so good that you don't even need to put perfume on. The line comes also with like a shower gel and a perfume. I totally don't recommend those. They're not as good as this cream. It's like a cream and inside it has little like honey beads. You are not going to be able to see them but it's super luxurious, super soft and it smells so good. So check it out, just go buy Elizabeth Arden, smell it. Maybe they'll let you sample it, I don't know. You should just buy it, it smells that good. Okay, the next thing is I mix two perfumes that like really make me feel like in the winter mood. Um, and I feel like uh, Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Heavenly is so winter appropriate, but I actually mix it with, um, I don't know how to say this, Jovan White Musk. And I got this for $14 or $15 at CVS. And I love the scent of White Musk. I just mix um, Angels, Dream Angels Heavenly, and the Jovan White Musk. And it smells so good. Like, so good. Obviously, I'm a very scent-driven person for winter. And carrying on in that theme, candles. One is kind of predictable. One is... Pumpkin Patch um, at Bath and Body Works. I know right now these are two for $20 and regularly they're $20 a piece. I got them two for 20 because I think $20 for a candle is a little crazy. So it smells really good. It has like the three wicks in it. And for those of you who don't know about candles, um, they have memory. So it's important that the first time you burn them, you let them burn to the outer edge so that every time you burn them, they burn to the outer edge and you don't waste any of the um, the wax and the scent. You get the most use out of the candle. The not so predictable one is also from Bath and Body Works. It's from the Henry Bendel collection and it's called Firewood. And I actually have, watch. I have three of these sitting in my place and I have one at work. And the running joke at work is everyone at work, all the girls at work call this big sexy man candle because it smells like a dude but in a really sexy way and I get compliments on the scent and asked about what candle it is by guys and girls so it is an appropriate candle to buy for a boy my boyfriend loves this this is boyfriend approved and this is boyfriend approved because you know how they did a study and they asked guys what scent they like one of them was pumpkin they find attractive so both of these are boyfriend approved this one you could gift to a guy this one is not going to irritate a guy. That's how I'm going to put it. Oh, these are $26. Uh, they rarely go on sale. So when they do, I buy a whole bunch. I'm loving uh, oils in the winter. And jojoba oil is a, this one I got from Whole Foods. It's a reasonably priced oil. And like I've noticed, and so has my sister, that in my videos my hair is looking shiny. She actually thought I dyed it. But I haven't. This is my natural color. And the reason it looks shiny is because when I'm blow drying my hair, I'm putting this in the ends like very sparingly because it will make your hair look greasy and oily. And I was at Sephora this weekend and I sampled uh, Josie Moran's Argan Oil and I'm falling in love with it, but it's kind of pricey. It's like $42. So I have a Sephora coupon. I'm debating if I should buy that or some other stuff that I want from Sephora. But in the meantime, I am using jojoba oil in the ends of my hair before... I blow dry and um, it's keeping my hair from getting parched in the winter. Okay, here's like my moisturizing kit as far as like my lips go. I love Aquaphor. I actually had a big tube somewhere around here, but I can't find it. Anyway, I went to the store and I got the pack of two little tubes. So I use this stuff for like everything. Like if I have a flyaway, I will put this in my hair sparingly. If um, my cuticles are like bugging me, I'll put this on my cuticles. I definitely use this on my lips. I also am loving Rose Salve. And this is um, the third thing I've had of it. 
the other two I had were navy blue, like a dark navy royal blue. Oh, I love the way this smells. And I was at Sephora and they still have the blue ones, but I got this uh, like reddish pink one at Bath and Body Works and it was $5.50. And this, I feel like if I put it on before I go to sleep at night, um, it like plumps my lips in the morning. I think it what it does is it's like sealing moisture in my lips. And when I wake up, it's still there. My lips don't feel dry or cracked or yucky. And they actually feel plump and like super moisturized. So I love this. Um, the only problem people might have is that you like have to dip your fingers in it. So I definitely make sure that I don't double dip. I never double dip. If I stick a finger in there, it's going to be clean and I'm not going to like apply it to my lips and then dip my finger again. I just make sure I get enough the first time that I don't have to double dip. And then I love chapsticks, but I think that my holy grail of chapsticks right now is this cocoa butter lip balm. And you can find these at Walgreens for $1.19 and I have four or five of these. I have one on my nightstand. I have one in my purse. I have one at work. I have one in my car and I have one in my makeup kit. I actually have a few. I have one like when I do other people's makeup and then for my makeup. So like I put it on when I'm, you know, moisturizing and priming my face and eyes and lips. Okay. So love this stuff. I can only find it out at Walgreens and sometimes not even all Walgreens carry it, but cool, good stuff. Um, nail polish. I'm going to pick two nail polishes that I think are like it for me for this season. The first one is Essie Mint Candy Apple and I did a review about this. Um, it's an unorthodox holiday nail polish and you can watch my review if you want to know more about that. And then the other one is what I have on now and it's Orly in Glitz and I wore this in my last video and uh, I like it because gold matches with everything but it's still super festive and yeah. I got that at Sally Beauty Supply. Okay, so really awesome stocking stuffers and or like party candy tray. I am loving um, Hershey Kisses, like the holiday flavors. I don't remember them being around any other year, so if they were around, let me know. But there's a couple of different flavors going on, but I love Mint Truffle. Mint Truffle, which is... um dark chocolate filled with mint truffle and uh, candy cane. Mint candy with stripes and candy bits. Okay. So these are good for like um, putting them in stockings or like uh, we had a holiday party at my company and uh, we just like mixed these two together. Um, this is like for chocolate lovers this is for, this has more of like the white chocolate taste, but I have to warn you, um, I'm not one of those people who can like leave candy around my house for like visitors because I eat it all. This stuff is so addictive and look, I try to be sneaky. I put a hole in the back here because I knew I was making a video and I was going to be like, oh, I'm going to make it look like I didn't open the bag. Yeah, well I did. Okay. And I've been eating it all day and it's going to make me sick to my stomach. Same thing with this, the holes up here. So I don't recommend you keeping these around because they are so addictive unless you have the self-discipline of like a professional ninja because um, they look like innocent Hershey kisses but they are like kisses of diabetic death. I've seriously eaten way too much by myself. Okay so last but not least how can it be a holiday season without eggnog? I used to not like eggnog when I was little. This is the first year that I've really like drank it and enjoyed it and uh tg lee um has pumpkin spice eggnog and my boyfriend and i are loving it it is so good and i'm gonna go get it and show it to you because it's super festive hold on okay so we have regular eggnog in the fridge but we discovered pumpkin spice eggnog tg lee does it um and it's so good so if you like eggnog and you want something with a little bit of different flavor you you'll like this like we both have been really enjoying it this year. All right, so that wraps it up for my winter favorites. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna think of something that I love in the winter, and I'm gonna wish I had put in this video, but whatever, I'll put it in next year's winter favorites video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys soon, bye.